This here, my friend, is called a carpenter's pencil. It's crazy looking, right? And what most construction people will probably tell you is that it was made this way on purpose. This thing is living somewhere in between a pencil factory and the deep dark forest, which I think is kind of cool. It's kind of like a movie, right? I sometimes, when I'm watching a movie, I'm cheering a little more for the villain, or I'm more interested in the villain, I should say, than the superhero, because we all know what the superhero is supposed to do, right? But that villain, what's going on inside his head? What's tick-tocking inside there? Plus, I like things that are just unique, and that one day may rise and overshadow those pencils that once mocked him. Okay, let's compare pencils. So what we, oh, what we have here is a pencil that's round. It used to be round, it rolled away. A carpenter's pencil will not roll away. It will be by your side long after regular pencils have left you. And you know what else? Here, I have another pencil that we can, oh look, the lead is broken. Probably stuck in the front seat of my car when I sat down too quickly. Thanks for nothing. But you know what? The lead on these things are so strong, very hard to break. So, so far, Carpenter's Pencil 2, regular pencil. And you know what else is interesting and controversial? Is this doesn't fit into a pencil sharpener. No pencil sharpeners have been created for the pencil's special need brother in how many years? Hey Siri, when was the pencil sharpener invented? Pencil sharpener was invented in 1847. 1847, that is a lot of years ago and still no pencil sharpener for the carpenter's pencil. Oh, in fact, hey Siri, let's say I wanted to sharpen my pencil but it was a carpenter's pencil, what should I do? I found this on the web. Johnny Thunderbolt carpenter pencil. Look. Okay, so here's how you sharpen one of these things. You're going to get a blade of some sort. And then you're going to have to go old school, like Little House on the Prairie style right here. A little bit of Abraham Lincoln, Davy Crockett, Charlie Manson. You probably used a pen or mind control. And notice what I'm doing, I'm just pushing the blade. I'm not using the strength of my entire arm when I do this. And you don't want to put all the strength of your entire arm behind this activity, because you may not know it, but blades are always looking for a way to cut you. Not today, little blade. Not today. What else is always, what else is, you know what else is cool about a carpenter's pencil? You'll always be able to measure or shimmy a quarter of an inch or a half of an inch. You know why? Because carpenter pencils are always a quarter of an inch thick and a half an inch wide. So if you need to shimmy something or measure something, there you go. Hey, on the topic of measuring things, you should measure your hand and your arm and your goat head. Because look, in life you're going to be like, how, how wide is that? And you don't have a ruler with you, but check it out. You measure your hand, minus 10 inches from here to here, or 7 inches, the goat head or 19 inches from here to here. I don't know why other people don't do that, but it's gotten me out of a pickle so many times. And plus, you always have your arm and your hand and your goat head with you. Oh, look, the sun. This is awesome. The sun is probably bleaching my head super bright, which is unacceptable. But sometimes I cheer for the underdog you know, the whole villain thing in the movie and the superhero? You're supposed to have good lighting. But what if I did an episode with bad lighting? So as you walk the streets sporting your brand new carpenter's pencil, feeling awesome inside, you should feel awesome because you know what? Now you stand apart from the crowd and you're bothering the masses so much as they peer over at you writing with your poor choice of writing tool. 
let them live with that torment. Right now, you're walking shoulder to shoulder with the greats. Yeah, nah.